the inside, double bump, inside, move, got that two to go. Welcome everybody to another episode of the Delta College Sports Report for mid-February, early March. I'm your host Richard Reyes, and what I got for you is every sport that's going on here at Delta College, whether baseball, softball, swimming, men's basketball, women's basketball, and track and field. All right, first let's get down to the ladies' softball team. There was no games this week, but that's all right, because we know Jim Fisher has got his team geared up and ready to go, and when they do go, we're going to be there to bring it to you. All right, let's jump to the men's baseball team. As they were in action, and Coach Rest, as these guys played tough, as they were able to rout Havelock at Nick Cachetti Field on February 14th, 10 to 2. And then the next day, they were able to pull off another victory on a walk-off by Rudy Perez. think of the highlights of Rudy Perez's walk-off. I know that celebration was just as good because I was just enjoying it watching it myself. Now let's get on to the men's and ladies basketball games. But before we do that, I want to congratulate Alex Simmons on being voted the Mustang of the Month for the month of January. Congratulations Alex and for a much deserved honor. All right, let's take a look at the men's basketball game as they were able to pull off another second half comeback 73-68 over American River College on Valentine's Day. Pretty much they trailed the first half, but take a look at these highlights and how they rallied in the second half. What do you think about them highlights right there? After the game, I talked to Coach Ressa, and he told me what he thought of his team being a second half comeback team. Take a look at this interview. We'll at this point of the year, we'll take them any way we can get them. The Big 8, there's nothing easy. I also talked to Richard Perry on what his thoughts were about playing his last game at Joe Blanchard Gym. Like, everyone was telling us like it's the last home game, you know, but we got to focus on a lot more right now, like going into playoffs and doing certain stuff. So we're not too focused on this being our last game. We want to focus more on when our last actual game. That was Richard Perry's thought about his last game here at Joe Blanchard Gym. Now playoff seats come out. February 25th, so keep your eyes open because we know our Delta Mids are on their way to the playoffs. Alright, before we get to the Lady Mustangs basketball team, take a look at this interview with Lisa Valentine on her thoughts about being the Mustang of the Month for the month of December. It was cool. I mean, I, a lot of different sports were coming up to me, you know, giving me props and everything. And then walking down the hallway, seeing my picture, I was like, wow, that was cool. So it was pretty cool. And that was Lisa Valentine's interview on what she thought about being the Mustang of the Month for the month of December. Now, let's get down to them Lady Mustangs basketball team where they completely destroyed American River 88-41. to It was sophomore night, and Coach Johnson gave out flowers and hugged her to feature the party players. Brianna Vane led the way with 19 points, Christian Torres followed with 12, and Jenna Blessing game had 15. After that, I talked to the four to party sophomores, and this is what they thought about leaving Delta. All right, here he goes. Last four girls, sophomore, what do you guys think leaving Delta? Gonna miss it. I'm definitely gonna miss Coach Johnson. It was probably one of the best experiences I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Anything you guys want to say to the next class re replacing you girls, if possible? Just work hard so you don't have to run. <laughs> play hard and play in the culture. D up. Go hard and have fun. Those were the four to party sophomores that are leaving after this season. I'm going to miss them next season. I wish them the best of luck. Now what we got coming up is the upcoming schedule of what's going on here at Delta. Swimming, track and field, baseball, softball. Pay attention to the open dates and hope that you'll be able to get there and show your Mustang pride. All right, here comes our upcoming baseball schedule. Unfortunately, we have no game scheduled on the diamond until March 7th, and that's going to be against American River at 2.30 p.m. here at Delta College. So get out here and get your Mustang pride with them. Now we'll go to softball. Right, we actually have a game coming up Tuesday, February 26th at Bucky Leyland Complex against Solano at 3 p.m. So make sure you get out there for that Mustang pride. And then again on March 16th at 12 p.m. 
p.m., which is a double header, so you can go double Mustang Friday night day. Basketball fans, the Lady Mustangs will be at Joe Blanchard Gym March 1st at 7 p.m. as the number four seed to take on Sequoia in the North bracket in the playoffs. Be there and cheer on these Lady Mustangs as they go for the banner this year. And then we have school meets March 9th at 1 p.m. against Shasta College at Lawrence Dorico Stadium. So get out here for either one of these games. Get nuts, get loud for your Mustang Pride, and give the home team the advantage. Thanks for joining me here today at the Delta College Sports Report. I'm your host, Sports Director Richard Reyes, and we'll catch you next time on the next episode of the Delta College Sports Report. Go Mustangs!